So today's Law Chat 101 is gonna be about how to network and where to tap into when you're first starting your business. Hi friends, welcome to Law Chat 101. I am your host and legal BFF, Gerja Bhargav Patel. So today's Law Chat 101 are gonna be quick tips about your business and legal strategies and business strategies because at the end of the day, we're all about making your business successful and raising the limits and reaching new heights in your business. So that is not just legal strategies, that is also some business strategies coming your way. And the information that I'm sharing here is for informational purposes only and for educational purposes. This really is not intended for any one particular person. So if you are looking for particular advice for your business or for yourself, please reach out to a professional, either a lawyer or a CPA or someone else that can really guide you specifically for your business. So here we go. So today's Law Chat 101 is going to be about how to network and where to tap into when you're first starting your business. It can be so overwhelming and sometimes you just don't even know where to begin. But having a network is key. It is such key. So when I was back in the business school in undergrad, the number one thing I learned after all of the different team projects that we had and the team presentations that we had is that network is everything. You wanted to connect yourself with people who were smarter than you, people who knew more than what you were doing, and people who also had a bigger network and the network that you wanted to reach. Sounds very strategic. It can sound very enterprising also, and maybe sometimes selfish, but at the end of the day, you have to do what you need to do for your business, and it's not being selfish at all. It's not being calculative either, but it is being strategic, and strategy is everything. So whether you are in old business, a new business, in middle stages business, strategy is everything. And so having the right network and being able to tap into that is also everything. So let's talk about that. Some of my best tips with regards to how do we start? Where do we look into? Who do we talk to? And some of the things that I did in my business that really helped the organic growth in my business, but also helped me gain exposure to my clients, my ideal client, but then also in the areas that I'm wanting to really foster a relationship to bring growth in myself as well. So there are three different areas that I would definitely ask you to look into. One would be, where's your ideal client hanging out? Number two is, where are your industry people hanging out? And number three is, where is your growth going to be hanging out? And so the reason I have these different buckets is because you want to tap into those different areas when you're looking to network. Now, number one is, you know, where's your ideal client hanging out? Who is your ideal client and where are they hanging out? So is that on Facebook? Is that on Instagram? Are there conferences that are happening? Are there local meetups that are happening in your town? Whether you're creative or whether you are a non-creative industry professional or entrepreneur, where is everybody hanging out? And where are those clients of yours? So say you're a creative like I am and also serving the creative industry like I am. And so my ideal clients are creative entrepreneurs. And so where do they hang out? Where do my entrepreneurs hang out? My startup entrepreneurs hang out? Where do my ideal clients hang out? So I go to Chooses Together meetings, local meetings, local chapter meetings are amazing. And so I go there, I learn, but I'm also able to expand my network and also gain exposure on what my ideal client wants. And then go to creative conferences. So if you're in tech, and you are in innovation. So go to conferences that are tech related or innovation related, or go to meetups or incubators or startup accelerators, or even pitch competitions where your ideal clients may be hanging out. So those are the places where you are wanting to really focus on is where they hang out and how can I be a part of that? Now, you don't wanna just go there and say, oh, okay, you know, I'm here, this is what I do, haha. -ha. You have to offer something, you have to offer value. Because at the end of the day, if you're not offering value, if you're not offering something generously and abundantly from your end, you're gonna have a hard time getting traction and also getting attraction as well. And you want people to see who you are. But a lot of times it's hard if you're just gonna stay quiet or if you're gonna stay on the side or not even give value to anybody that's walking across your path. And so I encourage you to give value. Now, a lot of times that value comes free 
and then later on you can start charging for it but give the value that you can give and give it abundantly give it so generously because if you have it with expectations then you're already attaching something to it expecting something in return but if you give it without expectations you will see how much you get back which is going to be tremendously tons and i say that because i have walked that path i still walk that path and I believe in it wholeheartedly. So when you're going to these different events where your ideal clients are hanging out, let them know who you are. Let them get exposure to you. And the way you do that is by giving abundantly, is by adding value to what you have to offer. So that's super important. So go to the conferences, go to the local meetups, go to the online Facebook groups or any other online groups that you might have where your ideal clients might be. Now number two, is your industry people, your industry peeps, your mentors, where are they hanging out? Go there. Because when you go to the industry meetups, you also get more knowledge. You expand your horizon, you expand your education. You also see what's new and what's happening in your industry. Because if you don't, you'll become stagnant. You'll start talking about things that are so antiquated that don't even make sense or are not even relevant. So go and hang out where your industry people are hanging out. Now, Sometimes it just may be the same places where your ideal client is hanging out, and that's totally fine. But go, make an effort. Take that first step, and that first step can be really uncomfortable. I remember when I first went to any of these conferences or any of these meetups, I didn't know a, a person, I didn't know anybody. But I kept showing up, I kept going, I kept pushing myself outside of my comfort zone, and now I know people, and I know people in a way where they know me even if I don't know them. And that's like the most amazing thing because I never thought that that could be a situation and it is. And so I encourage you to really step out of your box, step out of the comfort zone, because if you're a business owner, the number one thing you're doing for yourself is marketing. And the way you market your business is by showing up. The way you network, nobody else can network for you. So you have to show up, especially if you're in the beginning stages of your business. So make sure you go to where your ideal clients are hanging out, and number two, where your business people are hanging out, your industry people are hanging out, your mentors are hanging out, whether that is continuing education, whether those are conferences, whether those are happy hours, social hours, go. Whether that is a breakfast meetup, go. Let yourself be shown, let yourself be there. And you don't have to make mountains move the first or second or third time you go, but let them know who you are. Bring up your voice, say your name, introduce yourself. Now, number three also is very important to me, and that is where is my growth happening? And that is the third bucket, the growth bucket. The growth bucket is not necessarily people in the same industry as you. It's not necessarily your ideal client, but really it's people you are surrounding yourself with that will help promote you, support you, encourage you, that are people that are doing better than you, that are people that are really the ideal person that you would love to see yourself be one day or people that you're achieving to be and not to say that you're not that or not to say that you don't have those qualities but surrounding yourself with people who are better than you just encourages you to be better also because you are the median of the five people that you're hanging out with so if those five people are completely amazing humans that maybe you'll become that amazing human too. And so the idea is that you get encouraged, you're a sponge, you get influenced. And why not be influenced with the people that you look up to? Why not be influenced with the people that you wish to be or see yourself be in that position one day? And this has nothing to do with being envious of somebody. This has nothing to do with being jealous of somebody, but this is someone that you can promote, applaud, encourage, support, but then someone who gives that right back at you. And it's so sincere and so genuine that you feel it in your bones, how sincere and genuine it is. It's not easy to find, but you can start off by maybe joining small groups or pods where kind of like a mastermind groups or mastermind pods, a lot of different coaches offer that or go to a coach even, just go to one coach and go to somebody who can talk to you, guide you and give you that strategy, lifestyle coach or a life coach even, or a business coach or an executive coach. And then those avenues lead you to other avenues. And sometimes, you know, it might be a membership in some organization where women are just excelling or men are just excelling or people are excelling. And so 
It could be a variety of different ways that you can put yourself in a place where there's growth, but definitely do that. So whether that is a mastermind group or a friend circle or a organization that is meant to promote and encourage others and you truly feel that that's what they're doing, go to it. Start getting yourself involved, start putting yourself out there. And there's no rule that you can only do one or you can only do five. You can do as many as you want, but don't over like spread yourself because then it becomes too much and it becomes clutter. Totally been a, like I have been a victim of that and not even a victim, I am guilty of it because I love consumption of knowledge. I love consumption of memberships also, I'm crazy about it. And so overdoing it just clutters the mind and clutters your space and your time as well. So really, if you're experimenting and dabbling between them, go go to a couple meetings or do like a month to month to see if it's really something that serves you well and then start honing into it and start getting involved. Don't just sit there and take, but sit there and give and give and give because the more you give, the more you're gonna get back eventually. And the idea is to serve others in the process of where you are being served as well. So again, going back to three best ways to start networking, if you're a beginning business or even if you're a seasoned business, number one, hang out where your ideal clients are hanging out. Number two, hang out where your industry people are hanging out. Your mentors might be hanging out. Go and hang out there. Number three, your growth bucket. Go and hang out where you get growth, where it serves your growth. Well, with that being said, have an awesome, awesome day, and I will see you later on Law Chat. Bye.